QAnon is something that I don't believe we have talked about on this show. Um, and most likely we haven't talked about it because it is utterly ridiculous. It is mind numbingly stupid. Um, but at this rally that Trump was a part of in Tampa, Florida, uh, there were several members in the audience, several people in the audience that were wearing uh, Q paraphernalia, paraphernalia. Uh, they had signs, Q and nine, you know, they, they, it was, it was just all over the place and you saw it on the broadcast. So, it's like now you're forcing us to talk about it, right? So let's get down to you know where this all came from. So I believe this started back late 2017. I believe it was October and it started online. Uh, I believe it was on 8chan. Uh, it's also called Infinity Chan. It's kind of like a uh, like a sister to uh, 4chan, 4chan, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, but supposedly QAnon is this government agent this high level government agent with a top security clearance. And he is working pretty much for Donald Trump and he's working against the deep state. This one, this one person, this one person is working against the deep state, trying to take them down. And so he provides his, uh, his followers breadcrumbs. That's, that's what they call them. He provides them bread breadcrumbs. And uh, he doesn't actually ever really exp explicitly state anything. It's just like, here, follow along and watch, watch, you know, and they talk about the storm. And that's because there was a there, there was a, when uh, Donald Trump was at the White House with, the, I, I believe, some military members. He said something like, um, uh, the, like, this is the calm before the storm. And somebody from the media asked him, what are you talking about? And he was like, you'll see. <laughs> very like cryptic type stuff right so anyway again so for months this QAnon has been posting multiple multiple things and there's like a whole bunch of conspiracy theories and mind you none of these conspiracy theories like none of what QAnon has posted has come true and 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 nothing that QAnon has posted has actual provable intel included in it but there are massive there's a massive amount of, of followers and people are taking this like dead serious this is like a real thing that they're latching on to and they believe QAnon is something actually real um one of the conspiracy theories with this thing this QAnon thing is that the special counsel Robert Mueller is actually a white hat so white hat I remember like scandal yeah <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. with the white hats the white hats are the good guys so with QAnon, followers believe that uh, Robert Mueller is a white hat, a white hat, and he's actually working for Donald Trump. And so, like all of this that you're seeing going on in the news, these, these, I guess, like these indictments and these plea deals, like all of this is actually not real. He's actually working to take down the deep state. And when it's all said and done, when this investigation is finally completed, you're gonna see. The evidence and, of that. And, like, Trump's role in all this is to act as if he's against it because he can't, like, reveal himself. Right. So all of his, you know, kind of manic tweets, mm -hmm. all of his, um, I guess, his, uh, I guess, deflection mm -hmm. of, all, like, Mueller's investigation, all that's for show right. because he has to play it up. Like, he doesn't want the deep state to get taken down. Right. <laughs> like he has to play it up. So he has to play his role. Yeah. So like all of what you've been hearing Trump say and his response is all just him acting. Mm -hmm. It's acting. The question I would have though, is that if, if Mueller is actually a white hat to Donald Trump and all the followers, if, if Mueller is actually this particular individual that's working against the deep state, why, oh why? Is Trump acting so scared when it comes to this Mueller investigation, this Russian investigation? Like, why is Trump like running so scared? Like he's like, what they usually say, like yellow. You like you're yellow, you know. You like, like why is Trump acting so fearful of what's gonna come? And I I understand, like you were just alleging. I understand that people will say, hey, it's all an act. It's all for show. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It would have to be. It would have to be a lot of people in on this show, dog. But because it would have to be Giuliani would have to be in on yes, it. Yes, yes. But see, th th this is where I'm going with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If it's all for show, 
If this is all fake and Mueller is actually working against the deep state and for Donald Trump, he's not actually trying to get Donald Trump. If all this is for show and Donald Trump is just faking the funk, he's just faking like he's actually scared, but he knows what's going on. How would that make sense when Q Anon is actually informing the deep state of what's going on? You remember Q Anon is is dishing out the breadcrumbs. Apparently, like if you are like uh, kind of an internal mole, you would not reveal something like that. You're telling the exact people that Mueller is supposed to be going after the deep state that he's actually going after them. Oh, why would you so reveal that what? if this is? I mean, if this is all fake, oh, why would you no, reveal that? Let's see again, again, again. It would have to be more than just Trump. It would be ha that's acting. You know who else would need to be acting? Devin Nunez. Yeah, yeah. That that whole thing would have had to be an yeah, act too. The four page memo. Because if all if, of if all this is designed to, if Mueller is kind of the the white hat and all this, and he is kind of this kind of secret agent trying to take the help Trump take the deep state down, mm -hmm. that would mean anybody who is in opposition to Mueller is either acting just like Trump or in opposition to the deep state being taken down. You have to choose which which only one it sides. is. There's only two sides. And you gotta have to conclude that, well, Devin Nunez wants the deep state to continue because he has been uh, a vocal opponent of yes. this investigation and pretty much using disinformation and lies uh, to kind of support his theories. To me, this shit is on the same level as uh, Scientology. And or, actually, or, or flat Earth. Yeah, flat yeah. Earth. But it actually, when when I talk about Scientology, it might be even worse than that because with Scientology, you actually have a tangible person that's you know brainwashing you. Like you have access to somebody that's like, hey, this is the way. You know, I'm I'm teaching you some real messed up stuff. You got to come into our community. You got no access to the outside world. But there's actually a tangible person. You you know what I'm saying? Like they're actually brainwashing you with QAnon. It's just somebody on the internet that is posting stuff. You, you, There's been nothing proven that this person is actually who he says he is. All, all this person represents is an outlet, I guess, for people to project all of their desires onto. That's it. Like, like That's it. what they already previously believed about this administration, Trump, or this presidency, that this QAnon pretty much fulfills that for them. Mm -hmm. So whatever this QAnon... Uh, says or whatever direction the QAnon tells these people to go they will go mm -hmm. and QAnon recognizes this. this this individual behind this account recognizes this and unfortunately it's easy it's very <laughs> easy to do this this is not very difficult and it's just kind of weird that these people would just trust this person without even knowing or verifying who they are N there's no verification whatsoever but see you don't need verification when he's when it, pushing when it's pushing something in your imagination exactly you don't need verification for imagination this this is no different than any other like conspiracy theory that has no merit whatsoever um now the bad thing is that there is actually money involved and people are actually contributing money to this whole scam as it seems to be i mean it looks like a scam to me so i mean that that's the real unfortunate thing but it's there's always some sucker man there's, there's always a sucker but you know what I got one for you. I don't know if you. I don't, I don't know if you know this about this QAnon thing. I don't know if you prepare for this. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Okay. So lately, there has been a large segment of QAnon followers that are now believing that QAnon is actually not a government agent and not somebody you know, like I said, in the government with a top level uh, security clearance. They believe. You ready? Oh, yeah. You ready? Ahead. Yeah, I already know. I already know where this is going. Go they, ahead. They believe that JFK Jr. <laughs> did not actually die 20 years ago or almost 20 years ago. And he is actually QAnon. You mean JFK Jr. who crashed in a plane? That JFK Jr. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm the, the the one in the same. The 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 uh -huh. Okay. He he did he did he he again. He, he he's a lot. He faked his death and again. 
again, you have to keep. The, oh. You have to keep the conspiracy. What do we fresh. keep? We keep saying that, right? You got to keep the conspiracy fresh. They keep so moving. That you got to. Yeah. You got to constantly move that ball in the cup so people can't catch that ball. So now you have to again go to your imagination and then project your imagination onto the situation as if it is true to kind of fulfill what you already believed about the situation or what you wish to happen in the situation to kind of establish a fantasy world. Yeah. You have to establish a fantasy world to get out of this world. You, you, you got to keep get, making it provocative. You man. have to keep making it provocative because the world is fucked up <laughs> and the person you support is fucked up and the system that is, I guess that has befalled all of us is fucked up. So you got to create this fantasy world. Yeah. I, I promise you, I, I wasn't ready for that one when I saw it. I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I mean, cause uh, you know, of course, you learn to expect the unexpected when it comes to irrational conspiracy theories, but that it's not who you say it, who you've been saying it was for months on end, this high level government agent. And it's JFK Jr. Who, hold on, remind me, JFK Jr., though he never ran as a politician, I mean, he never entered politics. And he was thought that he was going to enter the Senate race for New York, but what would he have run as? A Democrat. Yes, he would have run as a Democrat. There are a lot of people who say that Hillary Clinton had him killed. Did yeah, we talk yeah, about yeah, we, we... But again, okay. Because, so so that because, burned Because it was a threat. So, 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 so he... See, see that's, that's why they chose him. <laughs> oh, no. That's why they chose him, dude. Oh, oh, there oh, there oh, is... The wheels are there, turning now. Okay. Wheels, you gotta get the wheels turning because there's, there's some sort of thread that uh, links all these conspiracy right. theories. There's a thread that links all of them. So he knew that Hillary Clinton either tried to or was gonna try to kill him. Fake, he faked his, fake death, his death. And then 20 years later, he re-emerges so, see, so, to take her down. See, 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 see here's my problem. <laughs> I'm okay with conspiracy theories, but then you can't hold two conspiracy theories that contradict one another. Like, you can't hold both of those at the same time because that actually contradicts the yeah. other conspiracy. The conspiracy that Hillary Clinton had him killed. Right. You know, because she's known as a murderer and having people off. If you're going to stick with that, you have to stick with that. You can't now then say he faked his death. Well, that means that she, he, she didn't have him killed. I'm like, which is it? I, I guess There's I guess too many competing it, it was, it was, it was like you know the uh, the bomb in the car, you know, like you you what, what was that the eraser? You remember? <laughs> dog, you killing me, dog. It was Vanessa Williams, Vanessa, right? Yeah. And at yeah. the end, the car blew up, but they actually knew the oh, like they planted the bomb there, you know what I'm saying? And then they they got out, they of, got there. out of there, and you know, so that's what. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even, man. Uh, I, I can't even, though.